You can almost imagine the water bubbling in the creek in this portable playscape of a forest. It's fun. You could make any kind of habitat. But right. I like the mountainscape. Me too. Yeah, so you use a variety of things to get started. And you'll need some colorful paper and some craft sticks. You'll also want to have a trifold board and a variety of glue and a styrofoam base. Of course, we'll talk about some of those extra things like cotton balls and things like that. So to start out, what you'll do is take your trifold board and cover the inside with blue paper. And this is going to be the sky. So this piece you can see is not quite as long as the board here. So I will just um, glue this down toward the top of the board so that at the bottom is where we'll create the base of our landscape. And to trace for the side panels, what you do is place your board closed, use a pencil to mark it, and then you can cut this piece of paper out and glue it right that down. That makes almost so much sense. Easy, right? Yes. I always do it on the outside and measure and I was making that way harder. You don't harder even than... need a ruler. <laughs> Stick with me again. <laughs> all right, place this. Then we're going to do the base. So open your trifold board. Once you have all of your blue pieces glued on here, you're going to open it up. And this is another. Do you need a ruler for that? No, ma'am. This time we're just going to use our pencil and trace it around the base. Okay, so this one I already traced and see that this is going to fit inside then when we're done. And I started to cut it out using my plastic knife. So just make some cuts here, this part's cut, so I'll come over here and finish this up. Just get off of my table here so I don't make a mark. Okay, there it goes, oh yeah. And now, Perfect. Candy's favorite trick, sand it down a little bit. It works, right? Right, just smooth it out. Okay, so our board is ready to decorate. Looks great. I'll make sure I bring this with me too. Mm. Okay, so now we're ready to do some coffee grounds and some water for the dirt. Okay. So for a piece of water, <laughs> piece of water, You'll cut a piece of blue paper, <laughs> and then you can tack it down with craft glue. So I'll use this one, and then you're going to start covering the base. And it would be fun to make some little fish to go in your water. I'll put this down here, and wrap it around to the front like this. Yeah, and you want that to wrap all the way around to the front because the stream looks like it's coming out at you that's in right. this three-dimensional piece. Yeah, that's, I think that's one of the great things about this whole thing is that it's so three-dimensional. And it makes a great background. I could see a dinosaur party yeah, happening some here. Yeah, play animals fit exactly. in there. Okay, so glue that down. Now, there's a cool thing that you can do with coffee grounds. What you do is take some gel and pour it into the coffee grounds and stir it up with your craft stick. We need more glue, Katie. All right, I'll add some more. It's going to make a really great texture. It looks just like dirt. Getting there. Oh, maybe a little more. A little more. Yep. Sorry. Because you want it there to be um, almost PC. doughy. Yeah. There okay. we go. Okay, and we'll help that out by, I'm going to pin this one down too, so okay. it will stay in place while we glue. Okay. So we're ready to spread this on, and it will help it out if you put a little bit of extra glue on the base. Oh, do too. we need to brush that out a little bit? Sure. Thank you. Mm-hmm. Can you use your... And it's okay if it touches your paper a little bit, too. Yeah, it's going to lap, It's going to go over the edges there. Right. So spread this. You're going to just kind of pick your stick up like this, I think, is the best technique. Yeah, just it gives it, it a down. little texture. You can use your fingers a little bit, too. I think if this were my setting, there would be a little play tent on it. That's right. Miniature tent. Little campfire, mm -hmm. pretend fire. And some s'mores. Okay. All right, so then I'll set this aside. And you're going to then also cover the water with some plastic wrap. And you can just use any type of glue to glue this into place. Do you want some clear glue? Sure, let you add that. And then okay. I'll explain about the patterns. So all of the patterns for the mountains and the snow will be on the website, and you just print them out, and this will be for the background. 
Okay, so for each pattern, the process is the same. You'll place your pattern onto the piece of paper that's the right color. So in this case, I'm cutting out snow. I'm going to just trace around the edges here and then cut it out. So you can position them before you get started gluing so that you see where everything's going to go. And while I start gluing these down, Candy, do you want to show us how to make a tree? Love to. So I've got these fun little trees that are made completely of paper, but the way we are going to sculpt the paper makes them 3D. So you cut a triangle out and you're going to roll it around. And you can roll this any way you want to make your tree as tall or short as you want. And then when you get to the end, you're going to, going to seal it up with a little bit of glue. And then you're going to use a rubber band to hold it in place while it dries. And I've got one right here ready to go. And then you're going to cut out the patterns from our website for the tree. So you want to stack them in a certain order so that they look like ginormous pine trees. Tall timbers, Katie. All right, looking good. Okay, so when you're paper cone tree trunk is dry. Just slide the end off and then you're going to put a line of glue and you'll just start with the biggest part first. Okay. And then just keep pressing it. Let's take a look at the back of your finished tree too so we can see. Okay. And, and then you're just going to keep stacking them around. Looks great. Like a pyramid. And you can make as many as you want. That's right. Okay. Then do you want to add some rocks? Let's do some rocks. Okay, this is so fun. So I've got some scraps of styrofoam here from our um, base piece. And you're just going to use a plastic knife to kind of get the shape you want. And you want to even keep small pieces like what I'm shaving off. And then when you get your shapes cut, you're going to use the end of the table to kind of mold them and give them a little bit of a rounded look. The only thing is you want to make sure that you don't touch one edge um, because you want that to be the part that you glue down on your landscape piece. So then once you have them kind of rounded out, you can use your fingers to squish and get them shaped more. Then you're going to use some thick acrylic paint, two colors because rocks are usually never one solid color, and you're just going to brush that over the whole thing. And you can see I've got some really cool ones here. Those look and great. And they stand up on their own. Yeah. Well, let's show them. So I've got the board going here. And you could, of course, add some more background. But to attach it to the base, all you need to do here is add some thick craft glue. And then you're going to pin it into place. And you could arrange those rocks and trees however you like. That's right. Let's take a look at our finished project. It's really neat. And I love how we use cloud or cotton balls for the clouds.